I've been searching TikTok for some crazy videos, like this guy who is punching a machete and dodging out the way of it. I like these lunatics right here. It looks like their goal is to get CTE. And if you're new here, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing. So let's get into it with this first video. Oh, good old Kenny Bayless, the referee, <laughs> who pulls the craziest faces in boxing. Watch his face. <laughs> Look at them eyes. And this guy is one of the most famous and one of the best boxing referees in the world right now. And he pulls these crazy faces. <laughs> if I'm in the ring room and I'm seeing them faces, that's going to really put me off. Oh, the girls. Look at that. Oh, she's taking some punches there. What's up? I mean, obviously the other one's not punching hard. How many punches are you hitting us with there? Look, that's three, four, five, six, seven. And she's just smiling. Eight. Nine, and the, oh my God, and then a big hug, wow. Imagine that, you're in the ring with someone, you've hit them with nine of your best straight punches, and they just smile at you. So that's one way to get into someone's head, but also it's one way to ruin your own head and brain. <laughs> <laughs> Me, after my crush, says she likes boxers. <laughs> 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 I don't know what's funnier, the, the kid boxing or the, or the caption that they've used here, me after my crush, says she likes boxers. That's hilarious. Let's watch that again. <laughs> wow. So this is actually one of my posts. I posted a video on my TikTok of a guy punching a machete and dodging it. Here it is. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Yeah, and I said that at the end of it, because what is wrong with people when they're trying to do that? All that's got to do is touch you, like his eye, and you know, his life's never going to be the same again. But I hope it was worth it for your social media clout. Funniest thing ever, watch this, watch how he get in, watch. Ooh, big left hook. Watch, this. he looking at him like, mother <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at what the guy's seeing, the not the fight. The oh, there he's there, can he be us again, look at them eyes. At oh, no, this guy is the worst guy on social media. He should be bored. And this is what he's doing. He's a coach and he does this for his fighters. Absolutely disgusting. I've posted some of his stuff before, like saying like he shouldn't be allowed in the sport. Hitting these fighters in the chin that hard, doing them serious damage, serious long-term damage. And he just doesn't seem to care. And the fighters, you know, the fighters put trust in their coaches. The trust that the coach is doing the best for their well-being. This right here is not doing the best for anybody's well-being. It's doing the opposite because it's shaking their brain every time they get punched. They will get concussion from this and it'll do them long-term damage. But this silly trainer doesn't seem to get that. And again, his fighters putting their trust in him and he's hitting them like that in this chin. And I guarantee that these guys or getting black flashes when he's hitting them like that. Because them are not soft punches, the hard punches. Yeah, the worst guy on social media. Oh, so this one, I played a little bit of this at the beginning. They're holding onto the ball and they're fighting with their big right hands. Ooh. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Just biting down, throwing them punches. It is entertaining, I give you that. But at the same time, <laughs> for the fighters, it's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. But unlike the other crazy coach before, at least these guys are, you know, both punching each other, not just one punching the other. How I'm training for my fight in July. Let's see this one. How I'm training for my fight in July. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> now I see why that got millions of views and 400 and odd thousand likes because it's good content. It really is. It's good entertaining content. And that's what your content should be like. Zab Judah versus Costa Zoo. Big fight. And you see his legs have completely gone. His legs are out. He gets up and he tries to see that he's good and, he's, and, he, and he wants to fight on. But obviously he can't and the video gets cut short there. But what happens after he starts pushing the referee and, and punching their feet saying, I'm good, I'm okay, I'm ready to fight. But the referee made the right call. See, when you've been punched so hard and you get concussed, your legs do go like jelly and you can't get up. And it takes a while for you to recover. Now he wasn't recovered. His legs were gone. He didn't know where he was at the time. So it was a good stoppage. Spawn. Oh. Oh, oh, he fell out of the ring. He fell out of the ring. I kind of think that the falling out of the ring would have done more damage than the actual punch. Landing on your shoulder from a, look like a four foot elevated ring, like a competition size ring. The shortest boxing match of all time. Oh, I've seen this one. Now I don't know the ins and outs of this one. So they're about to start the fight. So the bell's about to go. So the bell's gone. Just gets out of the ring. 
Now, I don't know why he did that. I've never seen that in all my years of boxing. Now I'm guessing it's got something to do with one or two things. One is his mind wasn't right. But the second thing is what I think it probably will have been, will have been the promoter, the promotional company. They might have tricked him into fighting. They might have made him sign a contract that he didn't want to sign or an unfair contract where he wasn't getting as much money as he should have been getting. And to get in, he had to get into the ring for that first belt to go for him to get that money. I don't know, but I'm guessing it's probably something to do with that. Do you know about this? Do you know why he'd done that? Why he did walk up the ring? If you do, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. How boxers act in the house. Yeah, walk around shadow boxing. And if you do boxing training, <laughs> this will make sense. You'll be able to relate to this because that's what happens. You know, you're punching all the time in the gym. It's kind of in your mind and you feel good doing it. So every time I used to walk past a mirror, I would be throwing some punches. Does this happen with you? Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever seen a boxer kick another boxer in the ring? Or have you ever seen a referee get knocked out? Or even seen a fighter give a fighter a free shot and he gets knocked out himself? Well, click here and watch this video next week. Some of the craziest moments in boxing are happening. Click here.